right, guys, Andy Elliott. I'm going to call this One Percenter Podcast, but really my goal today with Aiden, he's 19 years old. I want to try to make this short, right, not too long, but I wanted Aiden to just pour out his heart, kind of what his life has looked like. But before I hand it over to Aiden, I want you to understand this. Aiden is 19 years old. Aiden made $500,000. It's 2024. I hear people saying, it's tough out there. You can't make money. The market's bad. The economy's bad. You got to be old enough. You got to go to college. You got to have experience. Aiden, do you agree with all that? Or do you think if you work hard, you're in the right organization, that you can do really well? Yeah. No. Aiden, do you have any, do you have any earning caps? Is, can you make as much as you want, or do they cap you out in your company you're at? Yeah. So that's what's crazy about what we do at Bright Solar is um, there's absolutely no earning cap. The, but what we do is we call the, the old uh, the old ceiling is the new floor. So Love that. Every, everybody that succeeds in our company, we see a ripple effect that they just keep succeeding. Okay, now i got to remind everybody, guys, Aiden is 19 years old. He's 19. All right, tell your story. Yeah. Yeah, so basically um, for me, I grew up in northern Utah. I, uh, I got into door-to-door really young at just about 13 years old. Um, I found a little – there was a little sign on the street – and it said, make $5,000 this summer. And I was like, $5,000 is more money than but, I've but, ever but heard. Most 13 years old, old they, don't, they don't call that. They don't reach out. They don't do that. What made you do that? Yeah. So honestly, I think it was just intuition. I just knew deep down I, I felt something that I don't know if it was God or if it was just something that aligned. But I just felt something deep down. That, just want to make some money. Too. Yeah, just want to make some money. Just yeah, want to get started. It seemed a little like that stuff doesn't happen for 13-year-olds, right? Absolutely, yeah. And it was just a sign, just a cardboard sign on the street. And I was like, why not? I so I actually used my mom's phone and called the number. And uh, basically, it was, a, it was a job where you go door-to-door and you sell coupon cards. And it was also a fundraiser for mm-hmm. like a, a local food pantry. Mm-hmm. So I started doing that, and I was immediately just became the the top the top salesman i don't know if it was just because i was like a little 13 year old and people were being nice <laughs> to me um but that's I how i started excuses people say why well, i don't look old enough i don't look right do you agree like people say i don't look old enough i don't do this um that's all crap am i right 100 percent. and i'll be completely honest that's been something i've i've struggled with throughout my experience doing this so young is always getting in my own head about maybe being too young but you actually realize it's actually more of a strength than it is a weakness. Mm, you know, if you're, if you're young, you have such an advantage in this industry right now. Max. And I've just taken advantage of that, not getting in my own way. And, you know, look what happened. Good. Keep going. Tell me. 13 D- years old. Yeah. Sell, sell the coupon. Basically, cards. yeah. So 13 years old, you, you, you go door to door, sell coupon cards. You know, I started basically seeing at the end of the day, all the, all the cash, all the, all the checks people had written out. Like I did this, you know, I was 13, 14 years old, realizing it was possible mm-hmm. that I could actually start making money. And, um, you know, then I just kept, I stuck with that for a, a couple years and, um, like in the summers or what? Yeah. So it was in the summers and actually I would, after school, I would go out and knock doors, like, um, Dude, get my homework hustler, done man. and go out just cause I knew it was possible. You know, once you get that first little, that first little chunk of success, you start realizing like, I can do this, you know? Badass. Um, but then eventually, you know, I, I finished high school, um, got into solar. I, I knocked into someone's door and, um, basically found my way into, into solar. Someone. So you can be in high school and <coughs> start this job. Am I right? Yeah, that's why I started junior year of high yeah, school. I just want everybody to be aware of that. Like, you could be 16 years old. You could be 17 years old. You could be any age. Yeah. yeah. yeah so I just want to make crazy. that clear. Like, it's not like you have to graduate school. You started way early. No. So you graduated. You get into solar. So I got into solar, um, started doing blitzes because I had to come back for school, right? Mm-hmm. Um, that was right during COVID, so school was online. So I just took full advantage of, of going out and, and selling. And um, – but then what what happened was, so I was 16, my brother and I went out for our first summer um, out to San Diego, mm-hmm. and we, you know, we were completely sold on this vision and this company, and our manager left us like two weeks into the summer, just like stranded. Yep. <laughs> With a lease, $3,600 a month, I had about $400 in my bank account, I was like, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Um, actually called my mom, she had to put some money in my bank, thankfully, thank you mom, <laughs> and um, you know, I, I thought for sure, I was like, this isn't for me, like I... I you know, I've, I've, got, I've made some money in sales, but like solar, this is just, this is out of my, this is out of my the, zone. The stress was starting to hit. It was really starting to hit. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, I don't know what it was, maybe that intuition again, where it just sort of is like, no, don't quit. Like stick with it. Like prove yourself. You know, I committed to be out here. I'm not going to, I'm not going to give up and drive back home with, without at least not sticking out the full summer. So mm-hmm. basically what ended up happening was, um, after San Diego, our, our, 
that's where we went for our first summer. Mm-hmm. Manager left us, um, and then we actually got in touch with a, a different company, mm-hmm. and basically got went to St. George, and that was formed into Bright Solar. Awesome. And that's who you're with now. That's who I'm with now, and I've been with them for about two and a half years. Hey, guys, sorry to interrupt the podcast. As you're listening to this 19-year-old, right, think about this. 500K, 500K, 19 years old. Let me ask you a question. How much you want to earn? How old are you? What's your excuse? Guys, this company that he works for is badass. As you're watching this podcast, if you're like, dude, I need, I need my shot. I'm ready to earn some dough. I'm ready to be a part of a great organization. I need to be around great leaders like Aiden. Maybe you're 17 years old. Maybe you're 29 years old. Who cares? If it's your time, you're going to see a link below in the description box. Just click on it. You guys, they'll reach out to you in the next 24 hours. They'll give you more information on where Aiden is at. Aiden, thank you for being here. This is going to be absolutely life-changing for anybody who's ready to change your life. Let's get back to the video. How awesome are they? <laughs> um, you know, Bright is is not just a regular company. In, in the industry, you see all these companies that just are looking for money, and they just treat you like a name on a spreadsheet. Right? That's all I care about. Mm-hmm. At just Bright, a it's just a scoreboard, yeah. And so we have a culture now where, I mean, it's not only about money; like, it's about everything, yeah. everything in life. They faith. Teach you how to develop it all. Yeah, faith, fitness, family, and finance. Like that's. And you have fun, right? And we have a ton of fun. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, want, I wanted to add that because I think a lot of people, they, the the stress that you had in that old job, you don't have that kind of stress anymore. Absolutely not. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you have standards, but you don't have stress. Totally. Yeah, a lot of that stress came from just lo- bad leadership. Mm-hmm. You know, not, I didn't have a sense of direction. I was just there, and no one really was telling me what to do. I had no training. I had nothing. And so it's, you know, I, I, I look at our teams now, and mm-hmm. I look at what these new setters get and, and how, like, we pour into these guys, mm-hmm. and we're really building something. And I didn't feel that at all. And so, I mean, I'm just so passionate about what we're building. It's amazing, man. Yeah. Okay, now tell me about this 500 grand. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, last year I actually like, came out. Like a lot of people don't understand um, and won't understand. A half a million dollars, 19 years old. You're not using your college degree. You're out building relationships. You're learning the art of, you know, communication, right? Absolutely. You're learning to speak. You're learning to talk. You're learning to care about people. you learn to over-deliver, right? you learn to build confidence, self-esteem, self-belief. All the things that a lot of people are missing in this world, all these things that you've built at a young age by doing this, this job, right? Totally. Tell me, how did you do it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'll be completely honest with you. Like, five hundred thousand was was awesome when I hit that last year. Um, but that was just the byproduct of everything else that I learned. So basically, like for me, the skill set. So I just kept I kept having an open mind, kept wanting to learn, kept wanting to develop. Mm-hmm. And with just staying consistent with it, I think what happens a lot of times is people will start having a little bit of success and they can't stick to something. Mm-hmm. They, they feel they need to They're find a different avenue enough. now. They want to open up something new. And it's like if they would have just stuck with it and really put 100 percent into that eventually. 100 percent. So for me, that's what I did is I saw something. I, I, I knew of the opportunity. I learned the skill set and um, on, everything just fell into place at that point. Okay. You made good money. You're super young. By the way, I love it. I made, I made my first 500 grand when I was 20 years old yeah. and I've never really met another kid that's done it. So like, that's like awesome. Like you're, you're super cool. And you're so open-minded. You know, when I was younger, I just wanted to learn from everybody and everything that everybody knew, but also you seem like you want to be a really good person, right? That's, that's all I can do. Yeah. Yeah. So what does that mean to you to go out and serve all these people and to do a good job <laughs> You know, on the backside of you earning good money and being in a great company, do you see do you see your customers really happy? Oh, so I wish I could show. I save every single customer's phone number in my in, like in my on my personal phone. I have like 500 contacts, <laughs> and it's just all customers' phone numbers. Yeah, so it means a lot to you, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I think in the industry you hear people making great money. There's this belief that they must be doing something wrong to make that kind of money. Mm-hmm. But like for me, I I really feel like people have now have really high BS meters, right? They mm-hmm. can sniff out if you're being unethical. And yeah. th- that, that's a lot. There's a lot of people in the co- space. People's soul connect when they feel moral authority. Absolutely. Moral authority is like you are who you say you are. You're going to keep your word. You're living the right life. And souls connect. When you're talking to someone, their soul goes, all right, I like this person. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's the key. I always, when, if you do sales training, it's like if they like you, they'll listen to you. 
And then if they believe you, they'll buy from you. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. And the problem is that BS meter, a lot of people aren't really good people and they're not leaders and you're 19 years old and you're clearly a good leader because you're leading yourself. Yeah. And now you're going to, you know, keep growing in leaders and leading others now. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and can anyone do this? Anyone can do it. Seriously, anyone can do it. Can, can you talk about that? Because yeah. I said there's going to be a link below in a description box, right? Yeah. On YouTube where people can go and join your company and, and be with you and be with the team. Yeah. And, you know, and grow by side you, right? Um, what are, you know, what, what are some things in your opinion, right? That if you were to say, there's only a few must haves, right? Like, I think everybody can make it. I think everyone's qualified, but what are a few things that you think that you've seen that help people be successful in your company? Yeah. Great question. So I think the, I would say like top three, so top three things to, to really know, like, is this for me? Right. Mm -hmm. So one is maybe, maybe you feel like you don't really fit in with, with everyone else. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't want to go the traditional route of, yeah. of, you know, you hear, you hear their Everyone encouraging you to go to college and, and all these things. And something just doesn't sit right with that. Yeah. You know all the people we look up to? Yeah. Do you think they try to fit in? No. No. Do you think they make trophies? Or do you think they make statues of people that fit in? They don't. No. They yeah. don't make statues of critics. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. Make but, them but dreamers. That's yeah. the key. Yeah. yeah. So, so you got to be you got to be willing to go a different road, right? Absolutely. There's a four-lane highway everybody's on. Mm -hmm. And then there's that road that's less traveled. That's most rewarding. Absolutely. So you have to have, you have to be able to do that. The second thing I say is you have to be coachable. I mm -hmm. think a lot of people, their ego gets in their way. They, they just, they would rather be right than to, to be, than be good. <laughs> yeah. E e ego, ego is the death of everyone. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. So ego is huge. Um, as Cause, far as cause you can't grow if you think you don't have anything to learn. Yeah. And by the way, a lot of people that are broke actually have more ego than rich people. <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's just broke arrogance. Absolutely, you know what I mean. You know, I'll touch on that for a second. Because like, you'll tell somebody, like you could be telling somebody to do this right now, and they go, "Yeah, but." But anyway, always have something. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, I'll share this because I think that was something that fueled me really young. You know, people ask like, "You must just must just be talented." I don't think I'm talented at all. I just think I, I I've just stuck to it. But really, when I was young, um, and even now, I have people, I have friends back home that think self development and and making money is a bad thing. Sure. And that's ego. That's they, they, they think they're right about everything. And yeah, well, just, anybody that they look up to that was ever great practiced. Yeah. They got the reps in. They got around good people. I mean, they had to train. You have to. Yeah. But, but people don't think about that. And, and but that's why that's why you have the life you have. That's why you're doing what you're doing, by the way. And you're doing a great job. And I think you're going to inspire a lot of people today. Hustle Summit 2. It's right around the corner, y'all. What I want to do is get you in the room. Last time, Hustle Summit, the very first one, it was standing room only. We packed the house in less than 30 days. What I want you to do is don't take my word for it. Don't take my advice. Listen to what the people that actually showed up. Information has been on point that you can go home and actually start doing right now. We're part of Eric's coaching program, but his specific form of sales, he speaks well in teaching us what to do on these calls. The energy is super vibrant, obviously. Eric's bringing up all the heat here. To get my frequency up, man, this has been the perfect place. High energy levels, man, and so it's it's going great so far. The energy is infectious. The people, know everybody's here is ready to get after it. Everybody here is wanting to make a change in their life or their business. You're walking into a different reality. I know that he has a track record of doing this business at a high level. So salespeople respect high level salespeople. Hustle Summit Live. Make sure you're at the next one. And for those of you that are wondering, is this for me? Yes, this is for you. Whether you're just thinking about getting started in the wholesale industry, you're working that nine to five, you're in the rat race wondering, how do I get out of this? You may be a wholesaler that just can't get consistent results or you're thinking about building a team and you don't know where to go from here. Or all you realtors out there wondering, can I get out of the traditional real estate and go into the wholesaling where I hear about these big fat juicy spreads that my commissions possibly couldn't equate to. If that is for you, you're qualified to put your ass in the room. And for everybody that's wondering, where is Hustle Summit 2 gonna be? 
It's in Scottsdale, Arizona, y'all, at the Lion's Den, Andy Elliott's office. I'm telling you, this is the place that you want to be. I'm gonna show you how to consistently make between 20 to $100,000 a year, like clockwork, so you can finally get paid what you're worth. Scottsdale, Arizona, the Lion's Den. To either do one or two things. Number one, come join your company and kick ass with you. Or number two, just wake up and kick ass and you inspired them to be great. I think that's super cool to be 19 and inspire a lot of people. That's the goal. Yeah. And and the third thing I'll say is so, so you know the first thing I the first thing I said is you have to um you know you have to care, right? Mm -hmm. You obviously have to care. Um the second thing was you got to be coachable. And then the third thing is you got to look for a challenge. We we're, we're only looking for people at this company that want to do something hard. Mm -hmm. You know, me me doing this at a young age, it wasn't easy, but Anything you, have in, anything you have in your life right now that was worth having, did you get it by comfort? No. <laughs> what about any of you guys? Anything that you want to go brag to your friends about that you have that's super cool, did you get any of that by comfort? No. No, no comfort kills. And the God of this generation is comfort. It is, yeah. Yeah, and the fact that you're getting uncomfortable, you're doing things that others won't do, you know what that tells me? I'm a successful person. It tells me you're exactly on the right path. Absolutely. And yeah. then if you were to go tell the normal people out there, society, they would say, you're on the wrong path. That's scary. Don't do that. That sounds bad. They have no idea. I always say, be careful who you take advice from. Mm. If, they're, if they don't have the life that you want, you shouldn't be taking their advice. Okay? And I hear a lot of people taking mom's advice, dad's advice, grandpa's advice, neighbor's advice, best friend's advice. Can I ask you a question? Do they have the life that you want? Are they doing what you dream to do? I mean, honestly, if no, you better not listen because that's the exact life they're going to put you in. Absolutely. And, and guys, here's the thing too. Like, it's hard, right? It's it's not an easy job. It, you're getting your, t your teeth kicked in on the door. You're facing rejection. But what's on the other side of that? Like, I drive my dream car now that I've mm -hmm. had since I was, that I've wanted to have since I was 14. I drive that now. I live in, like, my, my favorite house. I'm, I'm hitting them. Like, it's it's real, you know? Yeah. And, um, yeah, those are, that's what I have to say is just sticking with it, like, just believing in it. And, by the way, any age can do this. Any age. I don't care if you're if you're 15 listening to this or if you're 35 or 40 listening to it. We have people from all ages. That's what I was going to say. you got guys in your company that are twice as old as you that are kicking ass. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. I love that, man. And so how many deals did you do last year? Um, so last year, year to date, it was about 137. Okay. And how many deals do you want to do this year? What's your so goal? I'm shooting for 200 this year. Good job, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I was there, guys. I was in Utah when he got his award, right? Yeah. And uh, to see a whole room and a whole audience full of people clapping, you know, for a 19-year-old who's just kicking ass, this is so cool, man. It's you so know, awesome. And, there's and no I, excuses. And I have to add, too, like, I always have to look back and be so grateful. I'm sure. so blessed to even be, you know, doing this right now with, with Andy himself and just being in a position where, where I can do this and, and a company that really appreciates that and appreciates mm -hmm. growth and really cares about you, you mm -hmm. know, like... The money's awesome. The goals are awesome, but that's just the byproduct of what we're building at Bright. Like that's right. the people, you can, I'll, I'll watch people like something click in their eyes and just completely change who they are. You know, it's it's mm -hmm. it's who versus how. You can see their soul, the old Ooh. souls leaving, the new souls coming in. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It's total recreation. You're you're every day you're recreating your new life. You know, in the Bible it talks about because you're talking about God earlier. The old is gone, the new has come. Right. When you're around the right people, that new person can come out. That new person with courage, that new person that can get over adversity, that new person. Because when you're around losers, you can't, you can't find that. No. When you're around winners, they show you how to pull that out of you. And I think a lot of us, every day, we're just getting 1% better when we're with the right people or we're going backwards when we're with the wrong people. Because I don't think anything stays the mm. same. I totally agree. Yeah. yeah, so it's just up. But, man, do listen. Guys, I told him, I said, man, I could talk to him for five hours. But I know that a lot of you, you're commuting, you're on your way to work, you're watching this while you're at lunch, you better not be working and watching this shit, okay? And if you are, you need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, am I in the right boat? Am I in the right job? Am I in the right work? Maybe it's time to make a change, okay? It's your life. No one else is in charge of it but you. I love sharing testimonies of people that have done really cool stuff, and a lot of the times the people are older. And here you are crushing and killing it, and you're just getting started. Just you know the what beginning. I mean? yeah. yeah, guys, he's an example to all of us. He's an example for all of us. And like I said, you're going to see a lot of this guy. He's going to the moon. Um, number one, I want to tell you, I'm super proud of you. Yeah. I know your parents are proud of you. 
I know sometimes they might not even know what's really happening, but they've been seeing you do this your whole time. Yeah. And they're probably just sitting back and they're just like, in awe. And, and I'll say too, my, my very first summer going out, it took some convincing to let, to let them let me go out. Right. If you're young watching this 16, 17, like it's completely normal for the people who care about you. Well, and to and have people resistance. are going to make fun of you too. Right. I mean, hundred percent. I mean, when you tell people like you go into a room and, and somebody says, Oh, you're in solar. Right. And, and they're like, and they're like, oh, yeah. yeah, so what are you doing that for the summer? They're it's like they immediately yeah. go to, like, degrade you. Oh, you must be doing that for the summer. Oh, looking for a summer job. Oh, you must be working towards something to get this. It's an and identity it's like, thing. Yeah, yeah. it's like, uh, no, I, um, I actually I serve my customers. I'm in the solar industry. It's called energy, right? Everybody yeah. uses it. You use it. We use it. Everybody pays for it. And literally, I educate my customers. I help people save money. And I made a half a million last year, and I'm 19 years old. Next <laughs> no more, no less. Yeah. yeah, it's like, come on, man. It's like, love you. What are you doing? What did you do when you were nineteen? Holy shit, guys. So, uh, Aiden, how can they follow you on social media if they want to yeah. find you? Yeah. So find me at Aiden A I D A N C Samuels on Instagram um, mm -hmm. or Bright Solar Group, and uh, we'll have links in both of those bios. Love it, guys. If you're watching this and you're like, dude, I want to join this guy's company. I want to join this team. I want to roll with this dude. Let's kick some ass. Yeah. Guys, there's going to be a link in the description bo box below. I'm sure Aiden would love to kick ass with you. Um, this is this is the era we live in, man. If you if you don't have what you want, you can go find the place you want. You can become who you want. You can earn what you want. you got to be around the right people, though, okay? That's why I'm introducing you guys to Aiden right now. I know I introduced you to a lot of people. But I just introduced you to a 19-year-old smashing it who's just getting started. So I love you guys. I'll see you in the next podcast. Aiden, yeah. I really appreciate you. I know this is going to inspire a lot of people. You want to say one last thing? One last thing I'll say is the time is now. It's a, Solar is a, is a ticking time bomb. We have, we have so many years left, and the time is right now. I promise you guys. Yeah, they're saying by 2029. Now, obviously, most of the stats are made up and they're bullshit. But let's say they're right. They're saying by 2029, 80% of homes will have solar. Yeah. Okay, so what, we got five years to go kick some ass, make some money. Who wants in? Guys, there's going to be a link below. It's a great company. I love them. They're family to me. Um, it's where Aiden works. We've had a lot of your owners and people that work here in your company with me before at different times. And I just love seeing all of you in. So at times I'll be like, hey, look, hey, come and do this. You know, let's share your testimony. And so, guys, we love you. I just love giving you the opportunity to change your life, okay? So if that's you. Here we go. Here's another one, man. I don't care how old you are. It's for everybody. Guys, have a blessed day. Like he said, the time is now. Okay? Procrastination is the thief of time. It's the devil. Guys, if you're ready to change your life, if you want to earn this money, like you said, it's a ticking time bomb. If he's right, we got five years to go kill. Okay? Hopefully it lasts 15, but maybe we got five. But what I know is what we do this year is all that matters. You can control what you do while you're alive. Mm. We, not, we may not even make it to then. But I know this. We know what we can do today, okay? Guys, so I hope this story inspires you. It makes you want to reach for more and kick some ass, and it shows you a future. And then, by the way, it gives you an opportunity if you need one, if you're a great person looking for a great organization and great leaders like Aiden has. So, guys, we love you. We'll see you in the next podcast. Let's kill it. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.